Let's talk about Thanks for calling me Paul. I got a question for your ass, Brody J. Man. Your cousin knocked your motherfucking head off of that <laughs> beer can. I'm talking about beer went every fucking where. How'd that <laughs> feel, Mr. Face Down? For a minute, I thought that was his brains, and it was way Shit. too much. That was way too much. Hey, I'm anxious to get home and actually see what it looks like on film because I watched it on film while it was happening, and I just want to get there and get it up on the TV and see, man. That fucking beer went everywhere. Boom! You went down. Yeah, he, Tell uh, us about that, bro. He, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, what, he, he came with us tonight. Uh, you know, one thing about it, whenever we get in the ring, it doesn't matter if it's in Paragould or Tennessee or wherever, we don't play no games. We don't pull no punches. It's, it's head over heels, balls to the wall. <laughs> Yo, and tonight, and tonight like I have sick. figured out a faster way to get drunk is to just get knocked the fuck out with a beer can instead of drinking. Hey. <laughs> One to do it, <laughs> and, uh, I, I mean, he got me. He, he he laid it in, but, you know, I mean, I guess it was my turn, but he didn't do it face to face like I did. Yeah, but now you know. Talking no, about I mean, I, 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 you you I did really after really. you beat him the last show. You did fucking. Well, I mean, he did. Do the beer fucking all I got, all I yeah. got to say, All I got to say is he used a weapon. Took a cheap shot and still tucked his damn tail between his legs and took off running. Yep, That's I'm, all I got to say. Hey, I'll be honest with you. I didn't really think you was gonna kick out on that fucking count, man. Well, oh, man, I didn't either. I didn't, man. I was sitting beside. It's a good thing it was a Bud Light. If it'd been a real Budweiser, you'd still be there. <laughs> man. I'm telling you, I was sitting beside Elvis and we were singing Blue Suede Shoes. That's a lock that you can't sing. No, I was. <laughs> He'll hum like a mouse. Oh, yeah. He'll do, he'll do that for 20 or less. <laughs> do it for 10 on the Thursday. So, where do you think this goes from here? Well, and, and hold on now. You didn't really get, get him like you wanted him, but you did end up getting his manager tonight, dropped a big elbow on him. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Left him laying around in the rain. And I seen him run. run when he did get up, I seen him hauling ass too. Yeah. And I, I noticed, I noticed now Jerry wasn't out there trying to get him out the ring or nothing. Well, I mean, you know, one chicken chips just like the rest of them. You know what I mean? And, and, and let's give these people a little. If the people who don't know, these two guys are cousins, first cousins, legit cousins. Not a work, not a wrestling angle. These two guys don't like each other, and apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Al here, yeah, yeah, these kids have been fighting since they've been six years old over stupid shit. Well, it don't matter, they're cousins. i tell you what, though, it comes through in their matches. I will say that. They've had two matches so far, two of the best matches I've seen lately. Well, them boys, when they get it out there, they lay it all on the line. Of course, Brody J, he, uh, he knows better to go out there and play because it's a business. It ain't no uh, ballpark. If you want to play ball, go to St. Louis Cardinals and play. There you go. I'm surprised you're really sitting here, man, because your ass went straight down, right, and that I mean, beer I'm, flew everywhere. I, I mean, I took an ass with him. That's some stone cold shit. Stone cold, if he sees that, he's going to be proud of that shit, man. Yeah. Uh, well, other than the wasting of the beer. But. <laughs> well, he wasted more beer than I ever will. Well, Paul, well, yeah, he brought that truck in there. Yeah. I cried. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll take him. When you put you post it on uh, YouTube, I'll, I'll open up my Twitter, and I'll, I'll, I'll even tag Steve Austin in it. Do that. Do that. Yeah, See, I don't know. Right, this motherfucker here would be in heaven if his ass ended up on Broken Skull with fucking Stone Cold. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Of course, now, first of all, he can't go by himself. <laughs> He's got to have his uh, beard oh, tender. Yeah, I got you. His beard tender's got well, to go and protect him. Uh, if you ever see me, you probably see him too. I mean, if we're at a wrestling show or anything to do with wrestling, you know. I know I mean. y'all hang pretty tight, it seems. Yeah. Just well, about all that's left is me and him. I begged I him and begged him when he'd come to me. He said, Unk, train me. I said, Bro, you really don't want to do that. I said, It's fun, but it's, it takes a toll on you. Well, he says, Okay. Then he goes around some of my buddies that I know mm. and goes to another town in Bakeful, and these guys are good guys. Yeah. They start training. But I thought, you know, he's going to do this, hell or high water. So if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So I told him the very, very basics. Lace up your boots tight, and he learned that tonight because if he wouldn't have, he wouldn't be in them. Yeah, he's definitely been out of them. And uh, 
I learned him the very basics, and from there he took it and is out where he is today. But I taught him, I taught him to be safe and have fun. Yeah. And uh, he took that and run with it. Been in the business for what, 10, 11 years 11. now? Yeah, must be 11. Well, I'll tell you one thing I like What's about you? him. He really takes it serious. Well, the thing, I don't know what you like about it. I don't like nothing about it. <laughs> well, you know, he had that hole in them pants tonight. Well, you know, he's got to pay dues. <laughs> you know, if I never told y'all this, I've always meant to, and I mean this uh, from the bottom of my heart, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> now we the bad guys. Yeah, you know what, he's, he's, just, he's jealous because we can and he can't. And look, he's the one walking <laughs> With half his ass hanging out of the Well, yeah. How do you think he ever got over? Oh, yeah. right. well, let's Spot see. onto the desk. Let's see what Paul's got to say. What you got to say, Paul? I wasn't there. But I mean, you got a, something. You got something to say. I, I do normally. Just so y'all know, Paul, he's recording this too, audio. So somewhere down the line, you're going to get to hear the audio of this before you actually see this video. Don't know when yet. Probably be a few weeks at least. At least on the video. I don't know how quick he'll be doing anything with audio. But well, I've always been known to be quick. That's what, well, that's what she said. said. <laughs> that's why you've been divorced, what, 17 times? <laughs> 16. 16? Yeah, that 17. Woo! Said, that 16. That 17 <laughs> said no. No fun intended. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you something. What do you think about the show tonight, Brody? Well, it's getting better and better. It's, uh, Matches are getting tighter. The, the guys are getting more involved. They're fine. I'm seeing what has been really lacking, in, especially in the uh, the babies or the good guy, whatever you want to call them, is they don't have that fire whenever it's their turn. It's the crowd's chanting their name. The people are getting behind them. They just be horse assing around, throwing duds, throwing, going swimming with clotheslines. I mean, I'm starting to see the fire under their ass. And I mean, I'm not saying that I brought that to them, but I know that I mentioned it because at one point I told them they just don't look like you give a shit about being out there, you know, but that's because they didn't have to earn that. They didn't have to earn their chance to get in the ring like I did. Yeah, you're right And about I don't that. care who watches this and says, oh, that son of a bitch didn't, he just wrote on his uncle's coattail. I promise yeah, you. Yeah, it was a rough coattail, brother. I, I promise you that I have paid my dues and I did right by training the guys that trained me and the business. They would not, this guy would not let nobody get in the ring that ain't supposed to. Well, here's the thing. And have his name anywhere a part of theirs. It shows in the ring, literally. When you're in the ring and you're in a match, that shows through. The, the passion, the bumps. I mean, we were watching the stuff tonight. It didn't take y'all, I mean, just literally going out there and taking some good, crisp, hard bumps the crowd started rocking with it. Yeah, it's, I it's mean, what it, they want to this say. really is simple. Wrestling, pro wrestling, is storytelling. The matches are just the vehicle to tell the story. Yes. Simple but, as that. But you'll never hear, or on camera, off camera, tell anybody that my matches is a work. I mean, I don't care if it's exposed. I don't care if they know. If they don't know, I don't give a shit. I watched your match tonight. I'm wanting to You them. and Jerry wasn't marking. No. Y'all was trying uh, to take that out of you. Yes. I'll say whatever. That's, why, on that's what means, means more well, to me than anything. I'll because watch on YouTube. if I don't believe what the fuck you're doing or what the fuck you're saying or what's going on in the ring, if I don't believe any of it, I ain't buying no fucking tickets. I'm with you. And I I'm mean, WWE's the same way right now. Everything they do is a cluster fuck. It looks like they belong in a pillow factory. I mean, that's literally... There's no rough shots. There's no, I mean, laying shit in. I mean, I want that guy to feel, if I'm whip, supposed to whip his ass or I'm trying to whip his ass and he don't go to the back and go, gosh, damn, I'm glad that shit's over, then you didn't work me. I'm with you. you hey, can I say me. something? Go ahead. Hey, Paul. camera lady, we, uh, I got time on my, it tells the time how I long I've been, I've been active. Off. How long I've been active. Uh, so I'll know because around the time that this will cut off, that'll cut off. It won't actually cut off. It'll just stop it somewhere yeah, around thirty or a few on. minutes after. So and then it'll uh, keep it'll keep right. So when this gets about twenty-five, I'll start. 
I mean, just kind of keep an eye on it or whatever. Yeah, I got you. Oh, cool. We'll just cut it off and then we can do whatever we're going to do. And, and, and subjects, guys, come on. Let's, uh, who's got who's got anything on their fucking mind? We're here. I tell you what, last night I was flipping through my thing, was speaking about midgets earlier. Kind of got, I kind of like that because midget form, y'all ever seen that? Oh, my I, God. I, Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I've seen it, Fred. I ain't gonna lie, I've seen some. I like them motherfuckers. But I watched watched it on big screen. It's not the same. You need to watch midget porn on a small screen TV and it's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So. Oh, I'm telling you right now. And the amputee. Y'all ever seen amputee porn? I actually ain't seen amputee porn. Oh, my God. Debbie, don't do Dallas. Because she ain't got legs. It's <laughs> big boobs and no legs. That's oh. my kind of women. Uh, yeah, hey, at least she can't run. She, that's what I'm saying. Once you got her there, she's there. She ain't getting. She might crawl away, but she ain't running. I'm going to church in the morning. Y'all want to go with me? <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a little bit. Uh, Speaking yeah. about church, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, I got to preach in the morning. <laughs> Lord I'm going to preach on uh, on alcoholism and premarital sex. And how if you have sex before you get drunk, it's wrong. <laughs> Coming to you on Buster H.R. Johnson religious I, I love that. That is good <laughs> shit. That is good shit. And also, like, like share, subscribe. Yes. And like, like, share, and subscribe. And, and, always, and, and always remember, the more you drink, the prettier they're going to get. There's no, there's two things. And make sure you listen to the Wrestle with Locals podcast too. I mean, let me get a little, let me put myself over a little bit. Well, well, yeah. Yeah, Paul always trying to put himself over. Damn him. it, Paul. Okay, do y'all understand where this Paul thing's coming from? No, sir. Okay, so. You're finna fucking ruin it, ain't you? I'm fixing to tell the story. Go ahead. I, but it doesn't matter, you're going to still call me Paul. Oh, you're Paul. Yeah. I told Paul, you. All I know is Titanic. So, me too. Carl. <laughs> well, when I first, my dad came to me, he was, there was a show here at the B.C. Lloyd building, in Paragol, and, no pun intended, right? Yeah, and Tommy Rich and all them were there. Well, I went home, well, my dad's gone. I was like, well, my stepmom was there, and I was like, where's dad at? Oh, he went to an auction. I'm like, why in the world is my dad going to an auction? So, she's like, I, I don't know. So he come, he came in. It was about ten o'clock. And he's like, "So let me talk to you." So okay, he goes, "If you could be a wrestler, would you do it?" Said, Shoot, yeah, I would. He's like, "Well, we're gonna find out if you how bad you really want it Sunday." So we go Sunday, and I meet Moon Dog Spot. Uh oh. <laughs> so I go up to him. He goes, "I'm Spot." I said, "I'm Carl." And he goes, "Nice to meet you, Paul." <laughs> and then I turned around and I said, no, Carl. Eventually, I ended up, I let him, I let it go with Paul for a long time because you don't, first thing, me, you know, look at a dog. Yes. Channel 5 with boards and trash cans came to my mind, and I ain't going to correct a man. No. <laughs> I want to tell you something. He will really whoop your ass with the trash. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Freddie got on. Freddie got got with him well, on TV too. So well, he had took not, not just one time, and he would I take know. me <laughs> when we started doing the thing with Power Pro, where Power Pro guys were coming to Osceola, and we would go up to Power Pro and, and do stuff on TV. I don't know. You want it? Is it? He yours? got me booked. Yeah, I, I don't care. I mean, he just got me. He got me booked that. at the Clash of the Legends show in two thousand one. Cool. <laughs> well, it was supposed to be me and Chaos, which is, was just a guy named Kevin Delk. And, uh, well, we were there, and we were supposed to work the Moon Dogs. We knew we were going there to get our asses whooped for $35 American. Damn, and, you got paid. Yeah, yeah. $35. Well, Eddie the- Marlin, you listen to this? <laughs> I'm writing you now. I want my money. So <laughs> they owe me $10. You got a long way to send it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so they turn around. They post up the... Who, who posted it up? Lawler had somebody post it up. I, probably uh, Jimmy Hart. Jimmy <laughs> Hart so far up Lawler's ass. It wasn't funny. Well, it said, Moon Dogs versus the Bushwhackers. Well, dog go back there, and next you could hear him down the hallway. Jerry... You know these son of a bitches ain't gonna take this shit. And he goes, Larry, 
you know what to do. He goes, yeah, they're fixing to take it if they like it or not. <laughs> and I was like, <coughs> so we got out. He goes, well, you're still getting paid for it. Well, then Bert came to me, and he's like, what's your name? I was like, Titanic, and he goes, all right, you're going to make a man, battle royal. So I went from, like, working a tag, a tag match where I knew I was going to get my ass handed to me. I got to go to the main event. <laughs> the only time I ever wrestled at the Coliseum. And then when the bell rang, I got picked up and threw in the corner. So I'm expecting, I was thinking it's probably going to be uh, Lord Humongous, which was hell from WCW. Yeah. And it was Stan in line. <laughs> oh, cool. And we started working on each other. He goes, turn me around. He goes, I, uh, he goes I'm Stan Lane. And you are? And we're just sitting there working on each other. He goes, I go, Titanic. And I go, uh, or, when do you go out? He goes, I have to stay through the whole match. I'm like, okay. What about you? I was like, well, I'm leaving with the moon dogs. He goes, well, okay, see you. <laughs> and I was like, what? And the next thing I know, I got hit in the back with a snow shovel with my junior. <laughs> but we, no, got thrown out, we got thrown out. I got thrown out of the ring. I didn't go over the top. The damn ring was too high. <laughs> yeah. So... Then I heard my name go over the system, so I thought, I was like, all right, I can die now. Well, I cut Junior off out there in front of the crowd, and I made him, I, I, we did a reversal, in, and I went into the, the rails. Something I always wanted to do, let me get my stuff there, and I, I'll be happy. I'll leave everybody alone. I'll just go back here in my little hole and just be quiet and shut up. Well, then he turned around, he goes, why the hell are you taking to cut me off? And, and dogs were just laughing. I was like, it's just Memphis. It's going to be okay. And I just started kind of getting this little smart-ass attitude with him. And dog looked at me. He said, there you go, boy. You stand up for yourself. I was like, look, if I'm taking the ass whooping, I want it the way I want it. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. moral of this fucking story is, all these goddamn green horns always won't get their fucking shit in. Yeah. Right? Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Buster H.R. Johnson. <laughs> and if you don't like it, thank you, Paul. Don't subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, expect the ass whooping in the mail through FedEx. We, we I got a FedEx driver at work for it. We use UPS. We don't use FedEx. I ain't talking about the guys in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking general population. Jesus. Okay. okay. So what else, guys? Let's talk wrestling. Just well, wrestling well I know about wrestling. It's a 26 minute mark. I mean, do you want to reset? Oh, he, no, you can reset. He was day. talking about. He was talking about when uh, he started off in Memphis. One of my favorite matches is I watched it the other day. Is when me and Sweet Joe El Dorado wrestled and Reggie B. Fine wrestled Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler. And Brian Christopher. And when Jerry crowded that second row and come off with that fist, I could have been in a porno movie right then. You're stealing my shit, ain't you? Well, yeah, I You're had stealing to. My shit, I, watched boy, yours, I watched yours and I said, Jerry Lawler done that to me too. Big deal. And that, is, <laughs> and that is truthfully how I feel. Hey, do me a favor. Don't ever fucking do that again. It scared you, did That scared this shit. You, there's kids in here. Are you good? They're sleeping, though, man. Yeah, I, know. I don't know how. I don't either. You're loud ass. I don't know, but well, I'm loud anyway. My whole Look, that old, loud, that man. oldest daughter of yours, she's been a pain in my butt ever since I've been here. Oh, it's going to cost you $20 a slice of pizza. I was like, well, you guess what? Your daddy didn't pay me for the last interview. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we we a uh, first class outfit here, Buster. Hey, John Johnson, y'all can see. Yeah. Hey, we got some water. And we're, your that's, that's and a, we're not even sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza <laughs> Hut, Pizza, Pizza Hut, Buster H.R. Johnson, YouTube. Come on, man. I need this fucking sponsorship. I eat a lot of fucking pizza from y'all. I spend a lot of money with you motherfuckers. Come on, put something back in this game. You got me? Water. I don't know what the fuck water this is. Great value. Walmart. Walmart. Come on now. We're looking for sponsors. Paul needs sponsors. Feel good. Freddie needs sponsors because he needs hookers. And some new legs. I used to. I used to. Hey, no, just call no me Dan. No pun intended. Just call me Dan. Pun intended, Dan. We were shooting pool and popping a glove. And Brody was at a tournament one night. 
and everybody around there was half drunk except for me, and I was all the way there. <laughs> and this one boy come over there and brought in her. He said, this is my Uncle Phil Good Freddy. And I said, how you doing? And he said, what did you say your name was? And I was wearing a pair of shorts. And I said, I stood up to him. And I said, my name's Dan, Lieutenant Dan. And you know that goofy son of a bitch called me Dan the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> he had short heads. And bought me beer. I didn't care. He called well, me, you he know, me Phyllis if you're buying me beer. Well, we got uh, Dan. We got Paul. <laughs> We got dumbass. Where you going? So look, I'm glad you brought up, brought up the pool. You, I mean, I, I I see your shit sometimes. You you some, you, what are you, Minnesota fat? No, fats he's Kansas Domino. No, he's Kansas City queer. Kansas City queer. Oh my god! Damn, it's hell on you, ain't it? I mean, have you really been putting up with this shit your whole life? Well, I mean, you know when you, you can't whoop us, when you can't whoop a guy's ass, you just talk shit to him. You know what I mean? That's well, just how not, it is. Listen, I want to say. Or when you can't whoop a guy's ass, you just listen to whatever the fuck he calls you, right? You hear that, Lee Michael? Listen. <laughs> uh, Motherfucker. Just, just, just look at Brody. Just, Brody, just look, look at the camera. Yeah. Don't he got a pretty mouth, guys? Kind of hairy. <laughs> like some seventies porn. Did somebody, uh, I remember somebody telling him that back in Jonesboro a long time ago at A A what was it? Yeah, A C W. Told uh, you you had a pretty mouth. Yeah, yeah. It scared the shit out of me. Because uh, it was right about the time that we was bringing the San Francisco treat back, back in, <laughs> and then he quit and went to Rick Burton. Which I he went it, straight. <laughs> kind of how weird. Drink hey, never goes straight. Kind of weird how he can just turn the switch whenever he wants to. But he's a, I mean, he's cool as hell. He really is. A he is. He's, good one, he's, one of, he's one of the great. I would say that. I love. I would do, do an angle or work him any day. Yes, I love to do. Anyway, he's like wearing his stuff, and he's talking honey, honey this, honey that, baby, sugar, whatever. And he walked, I'm a 15-year-old kid, so it's really rough on me. And I'm still new. <laughs> Green and the rock locker room et et etiquette, you know. And he's like, listen here, honey. And I, and I said something back to him, but I didn't smart off to him because I didn't know I could, and I didn't know what to say, really. And about the time, he's like, hey, tell him he, that's what his wife or his boyfriend said. And without messing up, he's like, yeah, well, that's not what your boyfriend. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I repeated what he said, and he goes, uh, he says, you know, well, you got a pretty mouth, and that's what he's talking about. He used, right. to, he used to call that. scared the piss out of me. I yeah, left out of the uh, locker room, never went back. When, uh, when that first started, it was uh, Kevin Sarden, and then he sold it to his uncle, Gary Sarden, and then Gary sold it to me and Tico, and... Uh, Take over run the back, and I would do the announcing. That way, we had the whole build, whole building covered. And then me and Tico kind of butted heads. We wasn't saying eye to eye. And I said, "Well, just uh, pay me what you know." It's kind of it's, <laughs> pay me it's, what uh, I got in there. It's just damn. It. It's, it's, it. it's just damn sad. That was it Mad it. Dog that owned it? Yeah, yeah. And who was that? Gary, Gary Sarge, Mad good. Dog. See, I didn't know his real name. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know when I was. Getting in there, I was dealing with the commissioner at the time, which was Mattingly. Yeah. And he was like, hey, uh, I want to ask you a question. I was like, yeah. And he goes, do you got any of the guys from Jonesboro wrestling for you? I am like, well, who do you not want me to have on this show? So he was like telling me, and he was giving me the reasons why and stuff like that. But it was like. He said something about Mad Dog owing the commission like five grand. Yeah. Well, well that's that because be. when, back when Arkansas had their athletic commission, you had to pay for your promoter's license, then yeah. you had to pay for <coughs> everything you do, and then you had to pay so much per show, you had to advertise it through the commission for 30 days before the show, and sometimes, and then you had to have a card, and if the card changed, it just, and, and then you had ticket sales because they wanted Arkansas wanted their money, oh, yeah. and he would never do it all right, and so they guesstimated.